بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم جی لیٹس کنٹینیو اور ڈسکشن آن بیزین لرننگ ان دس ویڈیو ویل فوکس آن دا انٹرپریٹیشن آف لینیئر ریگریشن ایز میکسیمم لائکلی ہوڈ ایسٹیمیشن لیٹس ہاؤ وی ڈیفائن ریگریشن فار ا پروسس دیٹ از میتھمیٹیکلی ڈیفائنڈ بائی ایف ایف ایکس وی ہیو این ان پٹ ایکس اینڈ آؤٹ پٹ ایف ا پروسس از ایف ایف ایکس ایف ایف ایکس از کرپٹڈ بائی ایڈیٹو نوائز نوٹڈ بائی این اینڈ وٹ وی ابزرو از وائی So given y, given x, we want to estimate, we want to predict f of x, the functional mapping uh, from input to the output. Uh, so you can assume or you can consider this noise uh, as a model of uh, errors in your measurement uh, or it could, be, it could be a model of uncertainties uh, in your process. or those parameters which you have not those pro, those parameters of a process which you have not captured in f of x right okay uh, so mathematically we have y is equal to f of x plus n and this is a, a one dimensional interpretation um, x is a scalar and y uh, these yellow dots are our, are our observations and this blue line is the functional mapping from x to f of x uh, if there's no noise we will take samples on this blue line but due to noise uh, we have samples around this blue line we assume that noise is identically and independent distributed and we assume that noise follows a distribution of uh, follows a gaussian distribution with mean zero and some standard deviation sigma square if i ask you about the distribution of our observations so f of x is deterministic n is random n is a random variable and since n is a random variable consequently this y is also a random variable if n follows a gaussian distribution of zero mean and sigma square variance what about the distribution of y so y will also follow each y will also follow a gaussian distribution what about the mean of the gaussian distribution so the mean would be f of x and what about the variance variance would be the variance of the noise sigma square and because if you recall when we compute variance we subtract mean from the from the computation of the variance right so we can say each yi each observation is also gaussian distributed and it follows a distribution with mean f of x i and sigma square its variance Uh, so all of this formulation is general so far let's move towards linear regression in linear regression our model is w transpose x so i'm assuming that i have included the bias term in the formulation of the model right so x is an input uh, that contains d features plus one bias term which is a constant and uh, i have encapsulated all the weights which i want to estimate in the vector w so my model is parameterized by a parameter w so w vector contains the weights which i want to estimate or that defines my model right so what is hypothesis class here then we have assumed that our model is linear we have a mathematical description of our model hypothesis class would be hypothesis functions of the form w transpose x for a different value of w you get a different hypothesis function right so for each value of w we get a different hypothesis function and the problem under consideration is so given data d we want to find w we want to find weights of our linear model so we have this data and from this data we want to learn about w right okay, let's formulate maximum likelihood estimation problem 
we define the maximum likelihood estimate uh, as this, that we maximize likelihood function over the hypothesis class, and we pick the one that maximizes the likelihood function as maximum likelihood hypothesis. In our case, uh, in hypothesis class, we have linear functions with different weights, and we want to select the weight that maximizes the likelihood function. So I can rewrite this maximization problem in this form that uh, I have f of x here, okay? and this w uh, characterizes this mapping f of x. And given this mapping, given this function f of x, I want to maximize likelihood and select the w that maximizes likelihood. So the dependence of f on w is not indicated here, but f depends on w. So w are the parameters that def that characterizes uh, that characterize the functional mapping f of x. Right. So so far the formulation is very general. Right? So f of x can be any model, and that is characterized by the weights w. We noted that each of our observation follows a Gaussian distribution. So if we incorporate this in the likelihood function, uh, I can replace this probability with the PDF of the Gaussian distribution. So I have n observations and assuming that all of the observations are independent, I can, re I can write, I can formulate likelihood function in this form. This is a PDF of the Gaussian distribution where yi is a random variable, f of xi is the mean of the yi, and sigma square is the variance. So we want to maximize this likelihood function. Instead, we maximize the log of it, and we assume that we take a natural log of it. Uh, when you take log of the likelihood function, uh, log of products is equal to sum of the log of individual terms. So if you move log inside, uh, you replace this product uh, with uh, the summation here. Right? And uh, we can further uh, decompose these two terms as, a, as uh, the product of these two terms, the sum of these terms. So minus log of uh, sigma square root 2 pi. <coughs> Sorry, my apologies plus log of uh, exponent term. Since it's a natural log, uh, log of exponent would be simply this term. So I have dropped uh, this first term here because this term does not depend on our variable w for which we want to maximize the likelihood function. Okay. So we have this optimization problem in hand. We want to maximize this likelihood function. And this is equal to if you minimize the negative of this and it drop two sigma square as well, right? Because two sigma square is just a positive constant. And then when I replace negative with positive, uh, I get a minimization problem, this. So minimization of this function is equal to maximization of negative of this function. If you observe this, we have seen this before. What does this term quantify? Yi observations, f of xi predictions, mapping from xi to the output. We need to take a difference error. You square error and you sum over all observations. This is in fact a squared error. We again note here that so far the formulation is very general. Right. We can have any f of xi that is characterized by parameters w. We have only assumed that our observations or the noise is Gaussian distributed. And obviously, uh, IAD. For linear regression case, f of x is w transpose x. When I substitute this uh, in the minimization problem, this is what we get. And this is what we formulated when we analyzed linear regression. And for this, we have an analytical solution. We can also employ gradient descent method to solve this to obtain a maximum likelihood estimate. 
we also note here that so this maximal this minimization of the like this minimization of the least squared error or maximization of the likelihood function does not depend on sigma the variance of our noise why so what is the practical interpretation of this so sigma is affecting all the uh, sigma is the variance of the noise right so that is going to be the variance of your estimate but that's not going to impact the variance of your estimate so once we obtained maximum likelihood estimate we can compute variance as uh, as an estimate we can compute com we can compute estimate of the variance by using uh, wml by substituting wml in our model square you take uh, uh, so square of the error and you normalize you sum over all observations and you simply take one more n so this is an estimate of the variance this is in fact mean square error right okay uh, so if you have also learned one thing that mean square error um, in this case is an estimate of the variance so we conclude that maximizing max maximum likelihood estimate is equivalent to minimizing least squared error or we can say maximum likelihood solution is same as least squared error solution and this is probabilistic interpretation or bayesian explanation of the least squared error solution and this explains why did we choose squared error for defining a loss function what is the interpretation of this probabilistic model this probabilistic approach or this viewpoint so we are assuming that we have a model and we are assuming that data comes from some underlying gaussian distribution and the samples we observe are noisy realization of the underlying function uh, w transpose x and therefore any deviation from this function can be modeled as asymmetric gaussian noise right uh, we stop here and we'll continue the next module thank you